Hello, liking, subscribing and commenting viewers. The Ford Mondeo ST200, one of only three cars that Clarkson, Hammond and May unanimously agree is good. The other being the Subaru Legacy Outback. This is Mike Fernie's car. It's from 2000, the year 2000 that is, the year in which Ford, as Mike is very keen to tell you, won the Touring Car Championship. And it's, it's a bit of a pub. If we start at the front, we can see that it, it's filthy for one thing because it belongs to a young person. It's a bit scuffed. The bonnet is quite good. Some trim here is a little bit all right. He slammed it by, I don't know, 35, 40 millimeters, which is obviously a mistake. Uh, oh yeah, quite a bad crease there. This is hanging off, very poor. That door's not bad if a bit map. This door you will see is a completely different color. I think this has been put on from a donor car from a scrapyard probably because this door I remember had gone all blotchy and horrible. Um, the bumpers aren't a brilliant fit. There's a bit of a dent here. It looks like somebody's head butted it. This bumper is a completely different color from the rest of the car, look. So that's perished rubber, mildew. Ugh. Bit of a scuff on the door mirror there. And the paint is flaking off the alloy wheels, look. Front bumper not fitting properly, paint flaking off alloy wheels. The windscreen is okay. The roof is broadly okay. I would say this car is worth, if we're honest, in the current climate, in these extraordinary times, probably eight or nine hundred pounds. So what I think Mike should do is spend about three or four months and around pounds completely restoring this car so that it's worth about four and a half grand. Watch this space. Yes, James, and that's exactly what we're going to do with it. It's been about a year since we introduced this car to you guys on the channel and we asked you what you'd like us to do with it, either restore it or modify it. And most of you wanted us to fully restore it and that's what's gonna happen. And it's all gonna happen here at Mad Ford Engineering in the Midlands. Mad Ford is the place when it comes to specialist Ford work in the UK. The owner Mick is an ex-Ford mechanic and has worked on everything from Escorts to RS200s. And even my shabby Mondeo is set to get a restoration befitting of the greatest machines to have come from the Blue Oval. In partnership with Halfords, this car is going to get a serious makeover. So Mick, you and your team are going to be in charge of this restoration and looking at the other cars in this garage, there's restoring a car in my mind, which is a bit of bodywork, a bit of TLC here and there, but you guys go a hell of a lot further. Explain what you're going to do to this car. Right, we look at a car and we break it down into, into certain segments. We look at bodywork, we look at engine and gearbox, we look at running gear, we look at trim. This car is going to be completely stripped to a bare body shell, any rust, any dents, any imperfections that we don't like, it'll be redone. Bumpers, grill, under the bonnet will be repainted the correct black. The engine and gearbox will go through, heads will be removed. If it needs pistons and a rebore, we're gonna do that. Okay. Timing chain, definitely. Yep. Cylinder heads will get refreshed, recut, reground. Uh, gearbox, clutch, any part that wants reconditioning, we will recondition it. If that means replacing it, we'll do it. If it means sandblasting, priming, painting, put it back to the correct colours, even to the correct stickers, that's what we will do. Okay, so it's going to be an absolute minter by the time it's finished. So could we say that once this car is finished and fully restored, it could be the best Mondeo in the country? I would like to think so. My aim is for when you get this vehicle back, not only to blow your socks off, you're not going to want to take it out in the rain. Okay, fair enough. Well, what's the first job then? First job, as all jobs on a car, Battery disconnection. Let's go.
So Mick, this is one of the first times I've actually seen underneath the car. It's done 155,000 miles. What do you actually think about the condition of this Mondeo? It's still got sills. It's still got chassis rails. Yes, it's a bit scabby, but at the end of the day, it's been a used car. We'll go with the new stainless John Ashley exhaust. Perfect, let's go. <laughs> this is such a horrible thing to watch. <laughs> I'm so glad that's over. Look at the state of that. It's like cardboard. So it's just a protective peak cover, essentially. They put two or three wraps of steel on. They're tearing my car apart. My Mondeo leaked at, ironically, the Ford shoot with Richard Hammond and it was a red liquid, and there we go. Got it the corner of the radiator. Some coolant. I feel like my poor car's bleeding. One of the coolest things about Mad Ford Engineering is that they live stream all the work that they're doing. So if you want to know exactly what's happening to my car right now, find mad underscore Ford underscore engineering on Twitch and tune in. So the guys are giving me all the glory jobs to do. This one last bolt on this side, one more on that side, and then the whole thing should lift out. Fingers crossed. As far as we know, it has been 20 years since this engine and gearbox was installed in this car, and it has never been out. But that's all about to change. Right, guys, go for it. Go. Wow, that is a serious lump when you see it exposed like that. How awesome is that? Yeah, I mean, it's fascinating to see your car from underneath up on a lift like this, but then to see your full engine out, it's pretty remarkable. It's a remarkable bit of packaging from mm. Ford to, like get, to get that into there. Mm. So is there anything you're seeing that worries you at all? Apart from a few suspect repairs from in the past, um, it's all rectifiable. We've made a ton of progress today, especially with getting the engine and gearbox out. I think it's time for some dinner and a sleep, and we'll be back tomorrow to finish the strip down. So Mick, while I've been away, you found some nasties. We have indeed. We've got one corrosion hole over there on the inner wheel arch, one this side on the inner wheel arch, yep. and we've had some very, very interesting past repairs on that quarter panel slash bumper mount. Somebody has literally just tack welded a piece of plate in and then filled over it. So that will, that will need to be removed and, and repaired correctly. Okay, so what's the next job? Uh, lift the body shell and relieve the rear axle from the, from the car. Cool. While the lads are sorting out taking the rear axle out, I've got something I want to show you guys outside. 
I've gone and bought myself another SC200, but don't worry, this one is just a donor car. When you're doing this level of restoration, it's really helpful to have another car that's basically scrap, that you can take specific parts off and not have to go searching for them on the internet. This car is definitely in worse condition than my one. Um, you've got lacquer peel on here, really, really bad. And you've got pretty bad rust on either arch as well. The main thing I want off this car is the original wheels. I hate the wheels on my car. So it'd be great to get these refurbished and then put onto my car. My ST is getting what you could call the ultimate winter makeover. And you could give your car some TLC through the sponsors of this series, Halfords. If you're in the UK, you can get a 10 point winter health check for your car at any Halford store, which covers a headlight and brake light check, a wiper blade condition check, battery health, with UASA being the first choice battery if yours needs replacing, windscreen condition, tire depth, a tire pressure check, an oil level check, screen wash top up, a coolant check and add blue check if you drive a diesel, and an MOT due date reminder. I'm crazily lucky to have all of this work done to my car over winter, but if you're in the UK and your car needs more of a routine once over than a full restoration, Halfords can do all of that for you. My car is quite literally being stripped to nothing and it's quite scary. Quite hard to believe I drove up in this thing just yesterday. It barely resembles a car anymore. I think this is my favourite thing. It's the largest flap of rust I've ever seen in my entire life and it pretty much sums up the car. Although maybe I'm being a bit harsh to it. Mick has said that this Mondeo isn't actually in that bad a condition but this does not look good. Right Mick, let's take a look at all of this. I cannot believe in just a couple of days the car is stripped down to bare bones like this. Indeed. And I must say thank you very much for letting me get my hands dirty. I have barely any experience with this kind of thing and therefore have no confidence. So thank you so much. You're more than welcome. We can't have all the fun, can we? The main thing that stresses me out, and I think other amateurs will be in the same position, is that I don't want to take something apart and then not be able to get it back together. Does that just come with experience? Of course, a lot of it is experience. Um, but I think approaching every job in, in the right frame of mind, methodically, take pictures. We've all got camera phones. And of course, the internet, there's a wealth of information to put things back together. Remember, guys, I bought this car for 900 quid and it's getting this level of restoration. I cannot wait to see this car refreshed and put back together. And on the next episode, it'll be heading into there for some paint.